Hey guys, welcome to Layla Teachers. Uh, today we'll be doing the sacral plexus. The mnemonic is good people pass smiles. So good people pass smiles. I'll continue with the mnemonic later. For now, let me tell you just a few things about the sacral plexus. So the sacral plexus is a part of a bigger plexus, which is the lumbar sacral plexus. And this lumbar sacral plexus is a connection between the lumbar and the sacral plexuses. So this plexus gives motor and sensory nerves for the posterior thigh, the lower legs, the feet and part of the pelvis. Again, so posterior thigh lower legs, feet and part of the pelvis. Um, so the nerves converge towards the lower part of the greater sciatic foramen and it lies on the back of the pelvis. So the position would be back of the pelvis. Now we can go back to our mnemonic and start drawing it. Now the sacral plexus uh, comes from the lumbar and the sacral vertebrae so we've got our l4 we start from l4 we go l5 s1 s2 s3 and s4 now to draw this always draw a line from the vertebrae straight up okay now <clears throat> so we start with um good right g so g is for gluteal nerves there are two gluteal nerves there's a superior gluteal and an inferior gluteal now the superior gluteal goes four five one and the inferior goes five one and two okay so four five and l1 would be our superior gluteal nerve and I'm going to write here L4, 5 and S1 so you don't get confused. Then we go to our inferior as I told you. So it starts from L5, goes to L S1 and then S2 and that would be inferior gluteal nerve. L5, S1 and 2. Then we go to people. The people would be the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. That is S1, 2 and 3. So we go here. We have we give one branch here and one to number 3. And we have the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. S1, 2, 3. Then we go to pass, which is the pudendal nerve, and the pudendal nerve would be S2, 3, and 4. So we give one branch to 2, the other one goes to 3, and then we end at 4, and that would be pudendal nerve, S2, 3, 4. And our last uh, smiles would be the sciatic nerve, which is a long one, it goes from L4 to S3. So we draw a line and gives branch to everything that would be sciatic nerve l4 to s3 okay then we've got um, three direct branches from the plexus they would be that go straight to the muscle so if you've got the piriformis which is the piriformis muscle then we've got the obturator internus and quadratus femoris. Now the piriformis will be S1 and S2. The obturator internus would be L5, S1 and S2. And the quadratus would be L4, L5 and S1. And that is it for the sacral plexus. I hope I made it easy for you. If, this like, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. 